Alright, welcome back to No Man's Sky. I'm going to be continuing my creative playthrough. And uh, we're going to learn to breed creatures. And continue exploring various places. I also have a little guide here on how to check out other people's stuff. Summon the anomaly. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll do that soon enough, but I mean, I was having just, like, plenty of fun checking out planets. Interact with your companion to induce laying? When the egg is ready, it will hatch into a new companion, just like its parent. That's really the first message I'm gonna get. I'm gonna- I'm gonna learn about that from the game. I guess that's cool. Who put this here? Base terminus. First of all, these things are amazing. I love the way these look. There's currently a community expedition that you can compete, complete objectives for if you want. Is this... wait a minute. Someone came to the planet I was on. Yoda's Weed Shack. Are you kidding me? I knew this was gonna be Yoda related. What? There's a message here. Chat, this is actually psychotic behavior. Who did this? <laughs> Who did this? <laughs> Holy shit. Um... Wait, how do I do the thing again, chat? Caps. How do I go into first person? What button was that? I know this is- I should know this, but... X. It's the X menu. Alright, never mind. I got it. Everything's fine here. Yeah, so, okay. So, let me explain the chain of events. Someone found the planet that I left. Or that I, you know, I, I was playing, and then I stopped playing. They landed. And, and they built a base where I logged off. That's actually, again, that, that's actually insane. But I'm gonna, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna allow it. Because it's funny. Oh, these creatures again. These things are so fucking weird. How'd they find that exact spot? I th probably through, um, like, insanity magic memorial site. Wait, I'm not dead. Vinny, is the FOV really low? It might be. It wasn't last time I played. It's a little bit better. No Man's Sky has extremely low feeling FOV. Yeah, so, okay, chat, I'm... Booty, please look over here. Are you... Are you kidding me? Are... like... Binti Point. What? Report base as inoffensive... as offensive or inappropriate. If you look at the compass up top, every purple is some kind of base. Okay, so there's only a couple. Still probably a couple too many. 
There's a teleporter. Oh, right, I have like a super soaker. Alright, we're gonna check out Booty, please look over. <laughs> they made a vine shroom <laughs> out of a building materials. Oh, I bet they are so proud of themselves that they managed to get their creation on stream. I'm actually proud of them. Whoever you are, chat member, this is this is actually incredible. That's actually I think a random achievement that I just got. Swigalig. Well, that's that's very cool. Oh, thank you for the raid, Miss Cupcake. I appreciate it. Try the portal when you're ready. I can do that. Howdy to you as well. Thank you for bringing everyone here. Um, I decided... So I'm playing No Man's Sky creative mode. And um, I logged off like a week and a half ago or two weeks ago or so on this planet. And I logged back in. People found me and made bases. And mushrooms. There's a teleporter inside this mushroom. That's... okay. Communication station. Um, there's also... Someone else made a cobalt mine? Maybe that's... I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's actually, um... A different thing entirely. I'm going to try the teleporter, chat. Name this planet and make it the official vine sauce planet. I mean... We already had a planet that was very vine saucy and... You, you, yeah, the coordinates were on the screen. Someone named it discovered one week ago, so even though I was here first, someone named it first. You guy. 98G5. Someone uploaded it before you. Oh, okay. I see. Just tried the hot sauce with dinner. It's really good stuff. I'm glad you like it. So this is a link to all of their bases. There's this is their silver mine, high Vinny vine sauce, Vinny base, insanity. Why are all these linked? like a toilet? That, that sounded like a toilet tunnel. Oh, because I'm in an aquarium. What the fuck is all this? I- okay. I'm very confused. I'm very confused right now, chat. I- I warped ten feet away. Okay. The portal links everything on the planet. Okay. Did you name your starship Gungaga? What of it? What if I- I like give coordinates and have, um... And have chat build, like, a city. 
if they want to. L like, Lenosity. Swigalig has entered the system. There, wait, how is my ship here? This isn't my base. I'm... Chat, I'm so confused. Ship will teleport to you. Well, okay, here's what I would say. If anyone wants to build a city on this planet, I, this is the one. Those are the coordinates in the bottom left, and I have no idea how this works. But you can coordinate, maybe. Also, that looks like, pretty cool. Gotta say, that looks actually really cool. I, I love that you can just move the sun at will. Like, again, I'm playing this in creative mode because I just don't have the patience for the grind. But this game works so well just as, like, an ambient, you know, like, just explore and uh, take pictures kind of game. No, keep going, keep going. Go, go, I want to take a picture. I want to take a picture. Like, fly, fly, like a baby. Fly like a baby. You might want to get lower than that, I think. If you can hear me, chat member. <laughs> This is really funny. <laughs> cool, Johnny's gonna have a lot to choose from. That is dope. That's cool. That That's like thumbnail worthy right there. Wow. Cool. Yeah, that, that's awesome. Um, okay, you, I guess, well, I guess we should... I guess we should meet each other. You've gone through all this effort to build a shrine to me and I'm not even dead. Cool starship. Damn, that's cool. That's you. Are you are you doing skibbity dancing? Every game must have dancing. This this is known. This is true. I just I built just the shroom and the silver mine. I think this crimson person built the rest. Uh, speaking of... Crimson didn't either. Okay, never mind then. So where did it come from? It's like the monolith in Stanley Tubrick. Rust Room of Doom also has entered the system. This is, this is, you know, not what I planned on today. That looks normal. You might want to get your ship checked out. Um, hey there. Let's 
going on? Ask them for breeding tips. Oh yeah, how do I breed? Yeah. Induce egg. First you buy them dinner. Oh. Alright, well we may as well take a photo together. Um... Here, let's let's look for a nice view. That's a pretty alright view. Too many games 2049. I mean, I think you're probably giving the human race a little too much credit. Um, strike a sick pose, if you want. Wait, how how do you strike a sick pose? While in photo mode. Or do I have to do that first? Gestures. Kill gesture. Okay, I'll just ponder. Um, hmm. Maybe, maybe get a little closer? Okay. No, 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 no. Yellow, you can do better than that. Okay, so you, you, you want to, yeah, just, just match what red's doing. Like, you want to look a little to the, to your left. A little more. Oh, God. <laughs> What's going on? Someone else just got here. <laughs> okay, now you got it. You got it, yellow. That's cool. Who, where, who's the dude in the spaceship? Can you, like, fly overhead? Because that you could make this, like, even better. I wonder if I can... Can you do FOV? Yeah. I'm gonna go master FOV. Yeah, there you go. Okay, you landed? Okay. <laughs> well, there's no... You know what? You should be... <laughs> Whoever just landed, get between my legs. Listen, I know that sounds weird. Trust me, though. Oh, oh, there's another one. Okay, cool. Spaceship, you should be above me. Other person behind my legs. This is, this is so weird. Um, no, I mean like back further. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that, that's kind of weird. Hmm. I'm trying my best to put on my photographer cap here. Vinny, I thought you were taking a break. I did. That's cool. Was it like the Naboo Starfighter you got there? This is the thumbnail. Yeah, and a couple ships, a bunch of ships flying overhead too. That is awesome. The twin sons, too, like Naboo. Uh, like Tatooine. Whoa. <laughs> They're gonna crash into each other. Cool. 
cool. Okay, I think we, we got a pretty decent amount of uh, photos here. And everyone has a cooler, like, ship than I do. Wow. This is actually insane. Okay, uh, everyone, I decree that you must build Linocity here. If I don't see at least three giant Grey Leno skyscrapers. I'm gonna be very disappointed. Now do what you want, I don't care. Oh my god! to ride our creatures and shit. Why did I do that? Yeah, go through the mushrooms. I will feed you snack and give treat. I don't like that. No, I don't like that at all. All right, it was fun, everybody. I'm, but I have to hit the old blue yonder. They say that, right? Some, someone says that. Some, they said they've said that before. So I'm gonna hit the blue yonder. I'm gonna find a better ship, because mine looks like... I don't know, it looks like I found it in the bottom of, like, a, a wreck. I kind of did. Good luck with breeding and goodbye. That's a, that's a message and a half right there. Oh, there's an abandoned vessel here. Linocity if you make Best of Grey Leno Part 3. Chat, you, you, you heard him. All this stuff has been, like, discovered already. Isn't there a way to, to jump in creative mode without restriction? This is a neat thing. Fungal. It, there's always fungal. Z um, Xeno Colony. I don't know what that is. Hampst Major. <laughs> what? How do you play a song in the key of Hampst Major? Uh, 
I'm gonna head up to that, um, space station as well to look for a ship. Okay, Hampst Major. Predominantly water. Weird. Very, very weird fauna. Or flora, rather. We got worms here in Hamst Major. Luigi, there's green spaghetti on this planet. No, Mario, don't eat that. That's toxic. What the hell is that noise? Is there a way to, like, turn off this- this chat on the left? I'm stealing a bit from a chat member who told me to do this, but... Steamed Hamst Major. No one. Uh. Hmm. I still see a chat on the left. It's fine. Voice chat is left on. Well, I like people, like, kind of... I like run running into people randomly. That's kind of fun. But, uh... Yeah. It's now just info chat, okay. Oh, this is what I was looking for. It's- it's okay here. I mean, it's- it's nothing like... There's some w weird birds. Which are cool. Let's get Gengago over here. We could do a water landing. Lime. It is I, Vine. Thank you, Lime. I appreciate you. Isn't this water made of, like, acid? Yeah, it's fine. It's great. They did a really good job making the underwater areas, um, more interesting. I mean, I don't necessarily still want to be in here for too long, but it's... I like this. This is, this is a nice fella. Hey, can I feed you? <laughs> can we be friends? Someone said, I wish it was deeper. All right, James Cameron, what, what are you expecting? 
No, I know what you mean. Deeper mechanically. How can I, um, how can I stun this creature so that I may become friends with it? Oh! I'm fine. I don't know if you can tame a fish. You can't tame them yet? Oh. I wanted to be friends with the thing that looked like a dolphin whale. Hadelcore. That's just like smiling friends. Vinny, there's a clam over there. I, do you want me to go to the clam? Is that why you're telling me this? What's what? They're steam clams that we're just those are the steam clams we're having. Hmm. Steam clam. I lost sight of the clam. His skinner is horrendous. Come on. Don't just say that. Offer me suggestions. Tell me how to squeeze my throat in the right way to make it sound better. There's a rainbow. Wow. That's cool. Sorry, I'm gonna have to abandon the clam. Floating island, I guess. There's a superheated, like, massive storm happening, and I can still see the rainbow through it. So that's cool. See, that, that whole little ad adventure, nothing much happened. W we didn't really do much, we didn't really see much, but yet I felt like I had fun doing it. There is, of course, a part of me that misses the, um, the survival aspect of the game and, like, the earning money and buying cool stuff. But knowing... You know, knowing my own, like, time limitations. I'm very okay with this. Just enjoying the scenery and all that. I like the... there's a... that's a weird one. So there's a Sporal planet there, and then there's a strange little red and black planet over here. desert planet. Oh, that's kind of far away. That warp effect annihilates bitrate. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, yes. Oh, superintendent, welcome for a delicious lunch and dinner. There's a mod to get rid of the warp effect if you want to save bitrate. Uh, I think I had that in a previous install of this game.
fauna is between worlds. What does that mean? It's an exotic planet. Listen, these things, just created by nature. They're like bismuth. Oh, it's one of these weird things again. You know what? This looks like anytime Star Trek The Next Generation tried to do some kind of, like, non-humanoid ethereal species. It was just like some energy balls. Just floating energy balls. And then you cue the New Age music. With the, um... You know, it sounds like, like, uh, hippie massage parlor music in TNG. Especially those first couple seasons. Captain, these balls have no honor. Mr. Worf, this is life that we cannot comprehend. They have a similar frame of reference. Do they have chocolate? No, Counselor Troy, they don't have chocolate. They don't have honor. They have breasts. No, Mr. Riker, they don't have breasts. That monster in the teleporter still scares me. It's a scary, weird thought, honestly. That episode is like... That one and the one where... That's a weird thing. The one where they get abducted out of their beds and experimented on by weird clicking aliens and they lose sleep and you just hear... Like that. That episode. Uh, schisms. That episode actually gives me nightmares because I had a deep fear of aliens abducting me when I was younger. This planet is kind of barren, but it's 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 kind of neat as well. Those aliens were just curious though. I understand that, but you know what they did? They they took apart people's limbs. They chopped limbs off and then put them back on. I like the rings on this planet. Many of you know my favorite um, Star Trek alien in TNG is when Riker goes down to the planet and he thinks he's in like a... Uh, you know, he wakes up and he's in the future. And then he's like got a son and the son, and, you know, and there's Romulans and then it's just like a Halloween, like a spirit Halloween alien costume. And he just looks at Riker with his little, little floppy fingers and he goes, My name is Barash. And then they, and he's like, You are my son. I will remember you forever. And then he just is forgotten about the very next episode. That's him with his little fingers that are very, very fake and rubbery. But yeah, he's got like, we've talked about this on stream before, but for any new viewers, this is my favorite Star Trek alien who shows up for all of two minutes. And Riker's like, you won't have to be alone anymore. And then he's just gone forever.
Barash was killed off screen in a transporter accident. Ah, uh, yes, Poochie. The Poochie incident. Anytime there's a character in Star Trek that they don't want to bring back, if you go onto the Star Trek wiki, died in between episodes in a transporter accident. Hundreds of times. I'm kidding, by the way, but... That would be, um... Appropriate, I'd say. Nice ship. Oh, it's gross. It's a C-class ship. I guess I'm just gonna be stuck with this submarine named Gungagan for a long time. Have you experimented, experimented with building your own ship yet? No. No. You can upgrade your ship's class. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. They redid space stations. Yeah, they, they did uh, a big overhaul on the space stations, it seems. Whose ship is this? Oh, th oh, this is the one I keep looking at like a dumbass. Um, that is an actual player. These are kind of neat. They're still updating this game. This got a huge update that changed the weather, like the clouds. It gave uh, new expeditions. The water was redone. Like two weeks ago, it got a massive update for free. Like, I honestly, it's actually insane how many times this game's been updated. It's like 50 times. I, I love, I, chat, I absolutely love how these freaks just disappear once you're done talking to them and you buy their ship. They just change, they, like, their whole day is now different. Maybe their whole lives, and they just are like, alright, I guess, sure. Um, how do I update this, chat, or upgrade it to a nice class? Would you be interested in Fallout London? I might check it out. Good luck installing it. That's why I haven't played it yet. I have I have not had the patience. You turned off text chat. Yeah. Not like I need any of this. Vinny, are you excited for tomorrow? I am. Uh, we almost sold out the whole thing, by the way. The Rem Lazar thing. I think there's only like five seats left. Six seats. I'm excited. I just have to do a little introduction. And then, um... Surprised it didn't sell out instantly, to be honest. Staten Island is actually a motherfucker to get to. And I know my audience is not all New York. So, and I've told people specifically, you don't want to travel for this, trust me. Because it's just, there's no... There's no point. There really is no point in traveling for this.
Wait, this why does this ship look like this? No point in traveling when it could be live streamed. I don't think they have the hookup for a live stream. Um, we haven't, like, we already have enough to deal with, but the, the thing about being in person with a group of people is it feels different than watching it on a computer. And you can, like, hear each other laugh, and it's fun. It's like, you know, a different experience. So... And, and, the cool thing about this event is you get to meet Jack, if you want to. You can actually, for those that don't know what I'm talking about, Alamo, Google Alamo Drafthouse, Rem Lazar. And you'll see there's an event for tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern on Staten Island, which no one wants to come to Staten Island, I can't blame you, but, um, I'm gonna be hosting an event there, where we watch the movie, the behind the scenes making of, and then I interview Jack. You can get sucked into the movie screen and have to live there, too. Many cases. Very disrespectful. Um, I- yeah, I think, uh, you gotta be careful about that. We've seen that on Commercial Chaos a lot. Did you ever see that movie, um, Last Action Hero? Same thing. Redacted Planet. But if this goes well tomorrow, chat, I might, um, do more events there. Like, I want to do Troll 2 in October. I want to get Greg, maybe, to do, um, a room screening. Stream it too, so we can all watch. I don't. I'm gonna tell you. I don't think the Alamo Draft House wants to stream an event where you would go and watch a movie. That, that it's basically you're just pointing a camera at the screen and watching a movie. That's not how. That <laughs> that's not really how that works. I'm sorry to say. Will you at least record the interview? I already have enough on my mind, so I don't have any plans to record the interview unless someone else does. And I know Alamo is... This is also kind of something that they're figuring out how to do more of. So, I would say don't expect too much. You know, there's a chance this is only going to be... Someone said, cool FOMO event. Do you remember a time when, in order to see things, you would have to go to things? Because that's crazy, if you can imagine a concept such as that. Sometimes, yeah, that's one of the reasons why I respect Jack White for... ...having people put their phones away at his shows. Because it just, it's, it's an event where you're together with your fellow humans, which feels communal and nice and really cool. And, um, so much of what I do is on the internet, and I love it. Make no mistake, I'm a very internet-centric person, and I'm happy to be so. But once in a while, it is really nice to share an event, like a concert, and like... Just be present in the moment. So, yeah, I, you know, I like that. I like that kind of thing. Once in a while. Not that I don't love and respect the internet. <laughs> so much to love and respect. Someone said, will you execute a chat member live on stage? I- I'll tell you what I'll do, we'll Rochambeau.
So anyway. Chat. What is this? Because this looks like something from Starfield, if you remember that game. Planetary Archive. God, imagine living on this planet. This planet sucks. New planetary record, hottest temperature. Galactic Trade Terminal. Crankshaft. Can Vinny upgrade his big frigate? I don't know. I'm sure there's ways to upgrade everything. Oh, we're getting lore? People actually arguing that literally everything needs to be recorded. Um... If a bear shits in the woods, and it's not recorded, do people still goon? Tis the question. Chat, I'm working on a couple new characters. That reminds me. So I have two char uh, characters. And... I'm, you know, I'm just tossing them around. I'm not gonna tell you the second character name yet. Because that it's... It needs a little more, um... It needs a little more special sauce. Because it's good. But I I'll give you one of the characters. All right. Slop Eye, the Failure Man. So that's what I'm working on lately. I've been keeping busy. I'm thinking there's a lot of potential with that character. I think he's my most spiritual character, in fact. Frothing Planet. I think we need to kill Slop Eye before he manifests. Okay, well then, okay. What if we killed Grey Leno while he was still in the boiling stage? We'll call it. Empty planet. Goldber. Slop Eye sounds amazing, by the way. I'm glad you think so. Vinny Pulse Drive upgrades will make it take not as long to reach planets. Yeah, yeah, I'm aware. That vertical ship on the wing is actually annoying me. Believe it or not, it's it's kind of annoying me too. I think this is a cool ship. I like the design. I like weird like weird stuff, but 
it something about it just makes me upset. And and it's like I like the B wing in Star Wars, and this one just looks strange. Looks like a router. It does look like an old router. Um, but what was I gonna say? Oh, um, if anyone wants to draw Slop Eye the Failure Man, you know, maybe we could have like a competition. No, all right, never mind. All right, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Anyway, chat, I might breed on this planet. Describe the other character? I can't, I can't. The other character is too good to be tossed off. Just like, willy nilly like that, you know what I mean? Like, it's too good, it's too good. What is Slop Eye's signature food? I, uh, probably Crawdads. Yeah, just crawdads. Like, he, he just eats them, like, still living. That's his spinach. Oh, God. Whoa, this planet is constructing as we speak. It is very purple here, chat. This is as good a place as any to breed. Why did it turn instantly night? It's night for you? That's not fair. You get to influence what time of day it is? Who is following you? Just a bunch of fucking weird chat members. It's, it's all good. I don't- I really don't mind. It, the text chat and voice chat are off anyway. It doesn't really matter. If they wanna... Just... You know... Hover about... That's- that's fine. Look at this fucking thing! Wow, it's got a beak. Harvest grease. I remember, did you kill this?
these shrimp fresh. How quickly we devolve to violence, I know. I know, it really says a lot about society. What, uh, what happened to my pet? Pet's fine. Chad, this planet is a terrible, terrible idea. I, I can't make a base here. Someone fucking owns a crystal spider. That's uh, cool. What? Are you the guy that made Wild Wild West? Fittingly bad for slop eye. Slop <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. Desolate planet. I guess we're not doing that. Again, I'm in creative mode, so I don't really need to do stuff like that. Um, what planet is this again? Frothing. I, I don't know what frothing planet means. And I'm just really curious. So, um, here, let me upgrade... My previous ship had a better drive. This is where we will breed. When you're in hyperdrive mode, you can see some cool stuff when you exit. The game will tell you. Oh, man. It's just bubbles and purple. This is what frothing planet is? This is now planet Tinky Winky. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to my planet. Yeah, well, I got bubbles. Bubbles everywhere, babies. What? Oh god, it's leaking. Oh, someone already discovered this. They're- they're fucking weird, chat.
I like that tower. Maybe I could build my um, breeding location base up on on the tower. Do you think Tinky Winky and Mr. Dink share a lineage? Yeah, Dinky Winky. That's a common ancestor. How old, Buck? <laughs> The missing dink, exactly. This will be sufficient. I just ran into someone in RuneScape named Grey Leno. What the fuck? Oh, they're everywhere. The Lenos are everywhere. I really don't want to be hearing these fucking things. Can I- I have to breed indoors, right? No? I think the children are fighting. Weird that it's. Gonna... Oh, I see. They don't go around. Okay, I get it now. Sorry, I'm still learning how to do this. Um, how do you delete again? This was a mistake. Chat members being on the planet was a mistake. Chat members... I don't want to be a jerk man about it, but can you go play somewhere else? Just because it's loud and annoying. Okay, the kids are playing elsewhere. That's fine. <laughs> Someone just said beta orbiters. Okay. I don't know if the purple will provide electricity. I mean, it might. Does that not work as a door?
I guess it does, but it's still purple. Hmm. Okay, now it's nighttime. Doesn't matter where you put the solar panels, as long as it's day, they provide power. Maybe I should go back to my other base. Chad, here's a question. How do I get to my other base? This planet will always have this discoloration. Oof. Okay, I think that works. Um... I, I don't know where my base is, chat. There's a couple of chat members working on Linosity right now. Will you visit it at the end of the segment? I can try! Take a look. He, he won't know how to get there. I'd have to rely on chat to get me there. Someone... I think someone else named my planet. Yeah. Someone came here and named the planet Leno Spires. <laughs> God damn it. Is nowhere safe. Vine Shroom Palace. Chat, what the fuck is happening? Okay, how how do I how do I breed? Call your pet out and tell it to induce an egg. Now, how do I breed it with another specific creature? So, if I want, like, this, this one right here, right? Induce egg, okay. Right, so, induce egg. Alright, we got an egg. I got the egg. You can't, you can mutate the eggs, though. Take it back to the anomaly? Oh, it's not as cool as I thought. Summon Gungago back. Welcome back, Gungago. I'll try the uh, anomaly egg thing. Chat might. What the fuck? Oh. I want to try out, uh, Vine Shroom Palace before we do anything else, hang on. Whoa! 
Too fast. Another dude. You can set it as a waypoint. That made sense. Whatever just happened made a whole lot of sense. Got to admit, that is pretty cool. Actually, really cool. <laughs> Thank you. Meat! Oh, it's not meat. It's one of those creatures I had. They were meat-esque. I had a, a meat-like creature one time in No Man's Sky. Fungal cluster. This is- this is cool. This is cool. Good job. A meat, <laughs> you could, uh, well, yeah, you could change the DNA of a meat-like creature and create a super meat. What if I can't summon the anomaly? Shit. Usually you run into it eventually. Well, what else was there? Hang on. We'll do something eventually with that egg. It'll give you something to do. The orbiter's already summoned it elsewhere. The orbiters. That's an amazing name for them. That's the group Vinny and the orbiters. Could you, um... Is the orbiters a band name? Because that's a pretty good band name. Yeah, it probably is. It's a Mike term? Wait, are you telling me that Mike invented the term orbit? That's crazy. I have heard that from time to time. Um, hoverers as well. So anyway, I do have... Um, I do have a list. So summon anomaly... After landing, head to the teleporter. What was that? What was that? That was <laughs> weird. You, you might, um, yeah, if someone around here, the person who just shot me, for example, wants to summon the anomaly, that would be, ra like, rather useful. Be incredibly useful, actually.
Oh, it's instance for each player. All right. Well, I'm just gonna continue exploring then, and um, taking pictures and enjoying. So chat, it says everything's out of jump range, but I'm in creative mode. Why can't I actually, like, go there? Thought I installed stuff on my starship. Pulse engine, pulse engine. Blue stellar bodies. Yeah, that's that's the highest level drives that. Um, what is that sound? I don't know. I, I hated that sound. Whatever it was, I did not like that sound. Tonight all noises are continuing. Yeah. Yeah, I can't really find a way to do that. You need every hyperspace jump upgrade, not just one. I don't believe I have all of them. You can make jump range unlimited in settings. Vinny, do the balls go in the condom? That's that's a normal thing to say in someone's chat room. Says weird thing. Fucking dies, leaves, and then never comes back. Streamer reads it out loud. One guy you don't need all. Buy S-Class upgrades in Space Station. Vinny, I learned that Jeffrey Combs played Brunt in Deep Space Nine. I've seen Deep Space Nine like four times. You didn't know that that was Jeffrey Combs? Yeah, it's him. He was, um... Who is Jeffrey Wombs? Okay. He played Wei Yun in Deep Space Nine. And Brunt. And some other stuff, too. He was in, um... Star Trek Enterprise as well. He's, he's a great character actor. He's actually one of my favorite recurring uh, character actors in Star Trek. If not my favorite. So what am I getting for better galaxy travel?
Can you breed with the Murloc fellow? Class C hyperdrive. Class A. It's weird, it's not showing up in the menu here. They need to be unpackaged. There's there's so much about this game that I just forget every single time I play this. If you keep reading to Gen chats, you will only get more. How will they be able to speak after the first message, though? That's my question. Put the hyperdrive upgrades next to each other for more range. So I just said Jolly Chat is where they all go eventually. Planet of Light. That sounds interesting. Do we land on the dark side of the Planet of Light? Put that one you got um, in the supercharged slot to go real far. Okay. Chat, this is maybe my favorite planet yet. Is this the live stream? Here's a better question. Did Sephiroth do this? Yes, Chat, there's just random rolling balls of light on this planet. It's like, you know the Elden Ring, the metal balls in Elden Ring? It's like that. Someone's griefing you. I, I'm in creative mode. I'm not sure how they can grief me effectively. I really like this planet. I might make a base here. Nah, that's too obvious.
Oh, no shit, I can just pick that up. Oh, sick. I guess I can just place those down wherever I want now. Weren't you gonna take the night off tonight? I said maybe... You're gonna be the one who saves me? And after all... Uh, I said maybe. You're gonna be the one who saves me. You're gonna be the one who saves me. You're gonna be the one who saves me. I took off yesterday. But tomorrow I'll be doing the Rem Lazar thing. Saturday I'll be doing Cursed Halo Race. So, I figured I'd get in a stream tonight. I had no problem with that. Scoop edible clusters. I have a really weird selection of pets now. How do you resist the urge to do- to just do nothing all day? It's called Midlife Crisis. If you want a real answer... I am very happy with what I do for work, quote-unquote. I like streaming a lot. I like making music. I like being creative. Um, and I sometimes don't do anything. There were plenty of times I spend a day doing nothing of any consequence. So, you know. Sometimes you feed ducks. Oh, it's, it's a form of nothing. But as long as they're happy. Base, what did you do? Did you break the chat? Buttons are very close to each other in my defense, he says. Mm. Uh, that's not acceptable, base. Gonna have to feed you to the lions now. It's a reality boundary container. You can read its logs. Nav data can take you to cool stuff like crashed ships. Gotta be honest, Chad, this kind of looks like Aurora Borealis. A little bit. In, huh? Does the pop in not annoy you? A little bit. Doesn't kill the experience by any means.
planet is this? Oh, that's the corrupted planet. Right. You would think I'd want to go there, but I kind of don't. Hey, chat. Speaking of Wonderwall, I was at a bar not too long ago, and there was a dude with a banjo and another dude with an acoustic guitar, and they were dressed like... Like old, like, like, you know, 1700s a little bit. Because that's kind of what kind of place it was. And they were doing, like, you know, folk kind of songs and old standards. And and they did a version of Wonderwall. It's like, today was going to be the day they were going to throw it back to you. Like, they over-enunciated every word. It was really weird. Were they bards? Uh, yeah. It's like, like, yes, like the Ren Fair, like the Ren Fair. It was cool though. They did it. It was. Uh, I didn't want to hear Wonderwall like that, but everything else they did was great. I mean, make no mistake. I think Wonderwall is a great song. Someone said, what's wrong with Wonderwall? No, 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 I like it a lot. I just, I didn't want to hear them over enunciate every word in Wonderwall with a banjo. That's a, that's a, that's a me problem. Um, I just, I like the song. Whiny ass chorus, it insists upon itself. Yeah, I mean, but just the melody and the, and the, you know, the the meter, the way the words attach to the the music. There's a reason it's a popular song. And I think it's just like there's something intrinsic about it that's really catchy and, and people like it. I'm sorry, I like I like Wonderwall, what can I say? I don't want to fucking hear it anymore because it's so overplayed. But it is to me an example of like, very, very hooky songwriting that can sound meaningful even if the lyrics don't mean very much of anything. Noel Gallagher is very good at that kind of lyric writing. I'm just looking for a spot to maybe build another little base. Planetary chart received. Oh, there's a nice audio glitch again. The fuck is this audio? And also. Who's this chuckle fuck in the distance that's... Alright, whatever. I'll just... I'll leave it. Oops. Sorry. Pardon me. Pardon me. Oops. Sorry. up here. I don't know if a base would really go well up here. I'd, I'd have to, like, do some terraforming. But... It is, it is cool. Now yeah, we can do a little terraforming. Can you do Peter singing Wonderwall? No. No. How do you terraform? What, 
What is that? It's a gun? Terrain manipulator on your gun. Is there a way to just flatten terrain? Flatten. That's really nice. Great feature. I remember an earlier version of No Man's Sky, one that I actually was like trying to build a legitimate base. The terrain would keep resetting. Every time I would manipulate it, it would reset, and it would just, like, the base would be ruined. That still happens? No, that doesn't still happen, does it? The terrain can still be buggy. Oh, man. Thank you for the raid, chat member. It's been happening here at Lenocity. Oh, that sucks. Damn it. Close enough. All right, let's uh, let's just quickly build something. I don't need anything complex. I just want something that with um. I mean, I already have a base that I'm okay with. So this this is going to be more for just uh, fun, just to have something here, and then I'll check on Lenocity before I go. I, I mean, the anomaly would be nice to find. I was really looking forward to breeding, but that's not going to happen. So it's fine. This is going to be, like, completely fucked. The terrain is going to just reset, and this is going to be... This is going to go very poorly. Stone floor panel. Vinny, just go play Minecraft. Yeah, it's a little different, though, isn't it? Floors, then walls. Yeah, I always forget about that. Just 
takes me a while to remember how to do this stuff. Why? Huh? No, we're good. You know what's funny about that cat emote? There's a, like, a very high probability that that cat was actually not confused. Do you ever think about that? I think about that sometimes. You don't even have a cat, how do you know? I don't know, I'm just- I'm just saying, there's a chance that that cat- Even though it looks to us humans, we tend to anthropomorphize things. I think that there's a, a, a non-zero percent chance that that cat was actually... ...just being a cat. And, uh, we- we look at it as if it is a confused cat. You ever- you ever think about that? Mr. Torrance? Define being a cat. Um, like, you know, just eating, sleeping, like, licking itself. Um, I, I lived with a cat for a time. I had a cat roommate, sure. I was allergic for months until, um, Eventually, I kind of got used to it. Congrats on making the Obi-Wan Goon Shack from Episode 4. Oh. Of course I know him. He's me! I don't know why Obi-Wan has to be, like, angry when he says that, but... I feel that that's probably... That's probably legit. He's angry because he's drunk on Cerveza Crystal. Chat members with the sick references. Almost as good as mine. Like, pretty good references, chat. I gotta say, I'm, I'm actually impressed. Like, I, I make up cool stuff too. Like, have you, have you thought, um, thought about Slop Eye, this, the failure man? You know about that guy? <laughs> Someone just said, thankfully, no. Can you give a full description of your Sloop Eye character? I might be cooking our- I don't have- <laughs> don't have any information for you. I know nothing.
what's uh, Popeye has olive oil. What's Slopeye's wife's name? Um, oil and vinegar. That's an easy one, All right? Gutter oil. <laughs> I like I like gutter oil a lot better. Thank you. Canola oil. All these are cool, but make no mistake, gutter oil is much more fun to say, in my humble opinion. I feel like if you're streaming long enough, or you're on the internet long enough, eventually you just circle back to Popeye. Like, in terms of memes. Reaching germa levels of nonsense conversation. I'm saying, no, I'm saying everything old is new again. And I'm saying that, like, that's why The Simpsons is evergreen for memes. And, um, eventually, like, we just run out of Neo memes and we just end up, like, referencing old cartoons. Why do you think Foghorn like, like horns? ends up, um, coming around every couple years. You can make like your own hookah bar. Slop by gutter oil. Flaccid is wimpy. Butthole is Bluto. I don't. I like flaccid, but I don't like butthole. I think you can do a little bit better. Come back to me with some different things. Vinny, make most Isley. Kind of like making a little Mos Eisley kind of thing going here. It's it's cool. It literally just looks like Taco Bell. Yes, but is it a Cantina Taco Bell? The ones that serve alcohol, because th that's what. Listen, that's the good shit. Fucked up chat. This doesn't reach the back. Are you making the band next? The oh, the Jizz Whalers, yeah. Oh, that melody gets claimed. Did you did you see the newest cool thing that happened where the, the Materia Collective rejected a dispute saying um, that they owned the melody to Dire Dire Docks by um, Nintendo? So they rejected the dispute. Which is, uh, for those that don't know, Johnny disputed the claim that they had any rights to that uh, song, because they obviously didn't write that song. 
And um, then on Twitter, they said it was uh, an automated claim from Nintendo, even though they manually rejected the claim. So. And then when we complained about it on Twitter to them, they, um, I know this is going to sound kind of weird, like how could this happen, but they released the claim. But here's another interesting thing about that chat. The interesting thing that I, I thought was cool was um, there was a revenue split. So for those that don't know YouTube stuff, sometimes what happens is if you have like copyrighted material like a song or something, it'll say uh, like you have a revenue split with the rights holder. So that's all well and good if they actually own the rights of the thing. However, on a video with like, what was it, 60k views-ish? Something like that. We made, I'm gonna say, it was like 55 cents. And um, they got most of the revenue. I think, so, so they basically said, we own the melody to Mario 64's Dire Dire Docks. They said that. And then they said they didn't, but they released the claim, but now the video is not going to do nearly as well. Report them to Nintendo. No, Nintendo doesn't care. They only care if you make cool games featuring their characters that are good and beloved. They don't really give a shit if, uh, if someone's claiming to be them. Um, and also, how do you report them to Nintendo? Like... Chat members were tagging Nintendo in this, trying to uh, potentially get their attention. It's like, well, first of all, it's that's not worth getting them involved because that's just going to turn into a bigger mess, in my opinion. But I don't think they're going to do anything. And also, listen, it's not that I'm like desperate for an extra couple bucks, but it really pisses me off when you have a company like that, and then a ton of other people are saying, oh, they did this to me, they did this to me, they did this to me. Or they're saying stuff like, they do this all the time. That's when it turns into a problem. Because it really then, it's just like, oh, you, you people are gross, I got it, understood. So, yeah, that's, um, that's kind of what, what's been going on there. But the revenue split is also bullshit. I mean, straight up. There's nothing about that that is fair. That, like, okay, what if I actually edited that video and that was, like, a fully edited, you know, put-together video essay about Mario 64 and I spent months working on that. And some random company that does lo-fi covers gets, let's say, 95% of the revenue. That feels, that feels gross, is what that feels like. I don't, I don't, I don't think that's cool. This is fun to make like a cantina type thing. You still need to add lighting, yeah. Lighting. Ball. 
Uh, let's see. So before we do, there's a couple other things I want to do, and then I'll make a the port. I think I made the portal already, right? Uh, so where's the where is the lighting anyway? I can't. I keep not finding the lighting. Am I even in the right menu for lighting? There's a free cam mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Past it, I think it's in furnishings. Oh, okay. There's some lighting here. Uh, there's not the lighting I'm looking for, which are the, the light bulbs. Oh, it's here. Okay, so we got one there. I want to do, um, some wall lights would look cool in here. Okay, that's not gonna, like, provide a ton of lighting, but that's why we get triple hanging lamp. That didn't really do very much either. No, we need cir- oh, circles hanging lamp. Splayed hanging- um... What the fuck is- what is going on? Is that a- Is that a fucking chat member? You can ride worms? I really hate that thing. Damn it. Okay. I'm almost done playing this, by the way. I wanted to check out that Unmetal game. Oh, that flag shadow is just hanging there, huh? Again, just- just a normal thing to see, just looking up, and there's- oh, here's this fucking normal thing. This- this dude riding a centipede. Uh, I need... Table and chairs. Are there no chairs to match this?
there's a stool. Oh. Stone chairs go well with that table. Um, I don't see the stone chairs. I like how there's a dude riding a centipede above the bar, but won't actually come in for a drink. Crazy. keep losing sight of the things that I like. Just to take care of Anakin. Insufficient power. Of course. Um. Oh God, what was it? It had. It was like a light. It was like a lantern. Furnishings, decoration, maybe? Yeah, table lamp. So I think this looks pretty cool. And it didn't even take that long, too. It was like 20 minutes to make a cool-looking bar. Canvas. Timber divider. This bar is not symmetrical. It's fine. Yeah, it, it is fine. I really, I'm okay with it. It's, it's cool. Um, last thing I want to do is build power. Throw some biofuel, connect a couple things to it, and then, um... Do I need any kind of lighting in here? Well, I need this to be connected. Oh, oh lord.
Wow, this can- you can do this in this game? And you can actually control the notes, or is it just random notes? You make the songs? This is crazy. Oh, that sounds like ass. Sound design is my passion. Someone, like, came into the bar and then left. I don't understand what's happening here, chat, and it's- it's- it sounds awful. Are you required to purchase before using, uh, the bathroom? Yes, you have to purchase something. Oh, there you are. Hey. Like that music? What can I get you? can't summon companions in here. Oh, damn. Well, I can't actually really even get you a drink, so... Oh, God. This is... Oh, God. I think you can actually make, like, notes. There you go. Hell yeah. This is all gonna be underground next time I come back here, chat. Definitely. Fun fact, the music doesn't really refresh for people around you. Oh. Well, take a good look, because I made something that I like. Uh, okay.
but it's, it's probably going to be glitched really hard. Uh, just because every time I've played this game and I've made terrain changes, it hasn't stuck. Save on the base computer? Oh, right, it's up there. All right, I think, I think that's it. You need to upload the base for it to work better. It's working good enough, I guess. All right. Bye, chat member. Thank you for hanging out at the bar. Let's, uh, let's take a break. I'll play more of this game at some point. We still need to find... Oh, 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 Linocity, right? How do I get back there, chat? Oh, I think I know how. Hang on. Um... It was like Binti Point or something? Let's see. I don't know, maybe it'll be something cool. Immediately start shooting. Um, look for a base called Linocity Block. Yeah, we, we've turned this planet into... Like, we, we've colonized this planet. It used to be natural. But I don't, I don't know how to actually get to this base. No idea. Portal on the planet? Clump of chat members. I don't know if that's them or what, because there's like a number of clumps. I'll clump with you, sweetie pie! Oh god. All right. <laughs> this fucking Marge emote. <laughs> it said Booty arrive here on one of them. Next time you play this, the entire planet will have cities. Yeah, it seems like it. Chat's gonna probably end up building a lot of shit here. Starship. Land at this base, it has a teleporter. Linocity block R2. Let's see. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, some progress. Look at that. Really nice work. The denizens of Lenosity are here. So I wonder if there's different parts of the city. Yeah, there's block S1, there's R2. Downloading data. Unable to download base. Uh oh. The instancing is probably overloaded from so many people right now. I mean, this was the promise of No Man's Sky originally. It, it looks cool. It's just, uh, it doesn't look like, you know, you can have that many things and that many people here. They've done a whole lot, but there's still eight-year-old bugs, yeah. Like, for example, on my end, this entire base is, like, in the ground. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that. That's fine. This is cool. Uh, it's just, yeah, I, I see a lot of stuff here. Uh, I don't think that's supposed to be in there. This is definitely a No Man's Sky problem that I've uh, been pretty familiar with. Which is, uh... Giant base ends up just being inside dirt. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately it won't let me go to the other parts of the city. Turn on text chat, maybe they can lead you there. Pardon me for not wanting to turn on text chat. What the fuck are you riding, a mushroom? Ask chat to lead you. Okay, yes, can anyone just lead me to the next one? This isn't going to work, is it? It's right there. Oh my god, this whole place. It, there's just tons of stuff. Vinny, it's under there. I saw a mushroom. Lenosity block S1. There's, like, nothing here. Is there supposed to be something here? Oh, oh god, things are appearing. Yeah, this engine is like fucked for shit like this. What is going on? What the fuck is this thing? 
This is this is actually insane. You know when it works. Uh, yeah, officially all I see is like one building. Someone said, I feel like I'm watching Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Wow, that's a... That's a... Plants? That's a plants? This planet is ruined forever. I keep... I keep randomly appearing inside walls. There wasn't much to ruin. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, alright, I think maybe we'll just stop here and hope that one day we'll, we'll get to see more of this. Yeah, I'll just log out here, and then maybe if I log back in, like, a week from now or two weeks or whatever, it'll just, like, spawn in. I don't know, maybe, but, uh, well, anyway, yeah, that's, that's, uh, yeah, that's No Man's Sky. We will take a break. I'll be back with Unmetal, which, if you're unfamiliar, is a fan game. Well, it's, it's an indie game that is kind of Metal Gearian. I played a demo of this and really liked it, but now I can actually play. I'm going to play the actual game. So it should be fun. Stick around. And thank you for helping with the building. And thank you for watching. Be right back.